morning from in beautiful Buckton, a lovely village right in the heart of the Dales. And today, it's a lovely sunny day, so I'm going to go for a walk up Buckton Pike and then down to Kettlewell. Beautiful day, should be some beautiful scenery. First, a little detour. I came across this little gem of a path last night and I thought it'd just be lovely in the sun in the morning. And I'm right. The peaceful beauty of Upper Wharfdale. The path to Buckton Rake and up to Buckton Pike. The last time I came here it was last July on a Pennine journey. But I had a big old day that day. Whereas today I'm not going to go too far and I'm just going to take my time because I'm still aching after the three peaks on Saturday. So just a nice easy day. Well, I'll be a bit of climbing, but just plenty of opportunities to chill and enjoy all this. Not too bad a climb. It's quite gradual, but I'm still it's a bit tight from the other day, but look at that. Typical Dale scenery, that. Still going up. Still going up Buckton Rake. Like I say, it's not too bad. It's quite a gentle ascent. And I've been dawdling because I've been spent a while taking pictures of a pair of goldfinches on the path. This is it then. Turn off to Buckton Pike. Now last year I went straight on over that path, which was lovely. Really nice path. But I'm quite looking forward to going up to Buckton Pike today, seeing the view from there. Half wanted to do it last year, of course, with a 20 mile day, it wasn't really an option. I'm staying at the Heber Farm campsite. And I think these guys must be some of their Belfast Galloways. little hamlet down there, that's Cray. The path's a bit steeper here. We've been sort of contouring the road, but now I've been gradually turning away from it, curving round towards the summit. That's quite a steep section. Don't put the far off the summit. So a little bit of work to do. You can hear the lapwings crying. It's just, just gorgeous. All this cotton grass. It's really pretty. Climb's got a bit more serious now. Look, there's still there's quite a lot of work up to do ahead. It's quite steep, but they've not got packs on, so got an excuse. Oh, 
up here then. That's the summit. Boom. Buxton Pike. Gravestone R H eighteen nineteen. This is sad. The Parker family and local people in memory of five Polish RAF airmen who died here on thirty first of the first, nineteen forty two, buried in Newark. So poignant seeing things like this. And I bet there were no age. These peak groves reminded me of Kinder or Forest of Boland. This bit feels totally different in character again. Just miles of, well, nothingness really. Just pathless moorland. Path's quite boggy in places. It really does remind me of the Forest of Boland in that respect. It's also got to keep your wits about you because it's a bit indistinct. There's a couple of curlews back there flying around and crying out, but I moved on because it occurred to me that. I might be close to the nest and I might be upsetting them. Looking down into the valley. Topper. I think it was a lightning either, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. It's lots of birds anyway. This is the valley below now. Can't see Kettlewell or Starbottom, but I think they're to the right somewhere. Right, to the right it is then, two miles to Kettlewell. Today, hotter than I thought it would be. Just applied another top up of sunscreen when I stopped for lunch. I burn really easily, so best take precautions. I haven't actually done all that much walking in the dales. This is why I'm trying to visit it a bit more because there's some lovely areas, so many places to walk. Definitely be back here again. It's just really lovely. This is a delightful track. You can see it going off in the distance then and then over the hill and I, I guess at Kettlewell's down there somewhere. Maybe an ice cream. I just fancy an ice cream. The gates round here have these really easy fasteners on. 
so it's dead easy just to hook them over. No fuss. Feels as though we're back in limestone country now. That what I did through all that expansive wilderness and bog, that didn't feel like limestone somehow and there certainly wasn't any in the ground but it really feels like now we're back in proper Dales country. Look at that splendid dry stone walling system. Now that says Dales like nothing else. And the odd stone barn. I think, I think the farmers have to keep so many stone barns. I think they're like a heritage feature now. I could be wrong. Well, there it is, Kettlewell. Not looking as busy as it did when I drove through it yesterday, thank goodness. But hopefully there'll still be something open because I really fancy something cold. Eat, drink, sleep. Sounds like a metaphor for life, really. The idea was to take a pebble, hold it in your hand, make a wish, and then put it in the water. Oh yeah, fantastic. Now for the return leg, four miles along the river, back to Buckton. So, should be a lot easier walking obviously because we're on this path by the river. We're actually following um, part of the Dales Way, so it should be a nice walk back. I must say, I prefer these open views. Can you hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a cuckoo going for it to the left. Well, it felt like the path was diverted then, and I think I can see why. It's quite an impressive landslip. That there in the distance, that must be star bottom. Not star bottom, but star bottom. I was tempted to call into star bottom for a drink, but it didn't look like the pub was open. So there's no point really. I've not got far to get back now to Buckton, but it certainly is hard. no water but it still looks a lot easier to go over the bridge gosh it's still so relentlessly hot i don't think this very far now but uh, i will be glad to get back and get in the shower and have a cool drink hey that's got to be booked in there not too far in the distance not long now it's been a lovely day but oh so hot I wouldn't mind walking the Dales Way one day. It looks quite a nice walk. I've done little bits of it here and there. I mean, this stretch has been very nice. It's one of those Dales barns, you see. 
but quite close too. I love the, the way the constructed of those stones sort of sticking out randomly all over. There must be a reason for that, I suppose, other than just making them look pretty. I wonder when this one was built. There it is. Buckton Bridge. A welcome sight. Right, that's it then. Back in Buckton. And finished. Took me quite a long time because of the heat. But yeah, good walk. Definitely one I'd repeat at some point. Really scenic. But right, I'm off for a shower now and some food.